In this video, we're going to answer three questions about the console port. First of all, what the heck is this console port and why is it so important? Two, how do we identify this console port out of all the ports on a Cisco networking device? And third, how do we connect to this device via the console port from our computer? All that and more coming up. All right, so first things first. I'd like you to think back to the first time that you entered the house or the apartment that you currently live in. Now, like most people, when they saw that or went in for the first time, we went in through the front door. That's how we got initial access into the apartment or into the house. Well, that's just like what a console port is on a Cisco device. It's the, the port that we can use for initial access into that device. We can see what's going on and start working and configuring it. So the console port is like the front door we're gonna use for initial access into our networking devices. All right, next, let's take a look at how we would identify where this magical console port is. So this is an example of a networking device. It's a Cisco 3568 port switch, and this is an ethernet patch cable. And look at this. It clicks there, it goes in here, it goes in here. So uh, just because the port fix or the cable fits doesn't mean it's the right type of connector. So these are networking connections. And over here, this is the actual console port. So it's labeled on this console port. It also has this baby blue outline on it as well. Just to verify or let us know where that console port is. Now this cable, this ethernet cable, <laughs> We're not gonna use that to connect to the console port. The cable we are going to use is actually a console cable. And this is a console cable. It's also colored, it's like light baby blue, sort of like the outline of the console port. And we just take this and boom, plug it in. Now the problem with console cables is that the other end of this cable looks something like this for many of the console cables out there, especially if you brought something used, it's gonna have this older console cable. This is a part that like a decade ago would connect to your computer, to a serial port on your computer. Today, we don't have these nine pin connectors on our computers, we have USB instead. So if you wanna use this cable, I sit down the switch for a moment. So if you wanna use this cable that likely came with your networking device, you could buy an adapter. So the adapter plugs in to this serial port and then the other end plugs into your computer. So this part would go into your computer. This part would go in the console port for the actual physical connection. Or more likely, what we would do is we would buy a cable like this, which has a USB on one side, the this type of connector on the other side. It's also baby blue to help us remind us what it is. And that way we can connect directly from our computer to that console port. In the link below, there's a link for my Amazon affiliate store. And out of the many things in the networking section, there's this $12 cable, which uh, does the trick. This is the one I actually use in my home office when I connect via USB to a console port. And as time goes on, if you have more and more gear, you're gonna wanna have creative ways of connecting to multiple console ports at the same time. And I've got some other videos that address that. But starting off brand new with just one or two or three network devices, all you really need is one cable connected into those console ports one at a time. So in this video, we've identified what is a console. It's like the front door of a house, the initial way to get access into that networking device. Number two, we've taken a look at how to identify that console port on a network device. And there's lots of different network gear from Cisco. And that console port may be in different locations. Sometimes it may be on the front, sometimes it may be on the back. If you're a firewall or a switch or a router, you've got a console port. It comes in various flavors. So that's how you can identify it. And the third thing we took a look at is how to get that physical connection to that console port with the appropriate console cable or with an adapter. So have a bunch of fun in physically connecting to your Cisco gear via the console port for initial access. And in the next video, I'll walk you through the concept of what is a terminal emulator and how we can use that on our computer to talk to that device via the console port that we just got the physical connections for. So I'll see you in that video soon and I wish you the best of success with your studies with Cisco. What you're putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding
say